We will talk about chapter 2, acoustic wave equation. And uh, it's basic physical measures. Last lecture, we found that the acoustic pressure, uh, that is the fluctuating pressure due to the uh, uh, any excitation, okay, or we could say excess pressure, okay, compared with the static or quasin pressure, is related with the velocity of a fluid particle and density of a fluid particle, right? The relation between acoustic pressure and fluid particles velocity is described by the famous Euler equation that essentially says the pressure difference in space. In other words, if there is a, some force difference, force acting on unit area, that is a pressure. If there is a pressure difference, this amount of fluid will be accelerated due to the Newton's second law. Okay, so linearizing the momentum balance between two infinitesimal uh, section, we found that this is can be written as like this. Okay, so in the last lecture we consider the Momentum balance, momentum balance on this fluid element. So momentum coming in and the momentum coming out. So momentum coming in would be rho u at x. Momentum coming out is rho u x plus dx. That has to be uh, balanced by momentum increase inside of this volume, okay, that can be written as ddt. The momentum inside of the volume would be rho, what is it? Of course, I up multiply s, s is cross sectional area, or is it what should be over here? Rho d, rho s. That is the mass and hmm? Hmm? DS This is momentum This is mass change so we are considering net increase of momentum inside should be balanced by momentum flux, that is momentum coming in and the momentum coming out. How do we have right? I think you guys are somehow teased by me, okay? We have to consider what? 
the force acting on this surface, okay, that is P multiplied by S at X, and the force acting on this surface is P S X plus D X, okay. The net force difference would accelerate the mass inside of this volume that is rho uh, s, okay, and this will be accelerated, right? So that is uh, u, and I want to differentiate this with respect to time. Okay? And if S is constant, then I can write this as D S rho U D T. Okay? And so on and so on. Okay. What we neglected? Or what did we neglect in this formulation? Okay, we assume that there is only this kind of force. Okay, if you think the three-dimensional case, considering infinitesimal element, not only in x direction, Uh, there would be the force acting normal to this direction, okay? And the force acting on this direction as well as force acting on this surface. That is normal force. Okay, this is normal force or pressure. What other forces can be acting on this infinitesimal element? There could be the force which is tangential to the surface, right? So this kind of force or this kind of force is also possible. Okay. Tangential force is also possible. Okay. For one dimensional case, what kind of force is possible? is a force acting on this surface is also possible, right? But we neglected it, right? What physical measure or physical parameter dominate this kind of force? Well, depending on the model, 